time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, February 26th. Hope all is well. Here is what I've done so far. So let's start from the top. So uh, AM ratio got stopped out. Uh, quiet, I did some, uh, my quiet midday tranches uh hit 40 percent 40 percent one got stopped out another one hit 40 percent 40 percent so basically well i made money on those even with the one stop out uh, my ndx trade is nice and centered i would assume that should hit max profit barring any big move and then just entered the wooga on my other stuff uh, i had two stop outs on my re-entries both uh, one was a one to one one was a three two then uh, i got stopped out for a profit on this three two i've got my one dte that's still alive it's up about 17 percent I've got a one-to-one -one re entry that is that I already reduced my uh stop and position size on. That's up 35%. And then a three two that's currently up 15%. So that's what I have done today. Um let's see, Chad or Chad, can you hear me? Looks like you're on mute. Yep. Yep. Okay. Just unmuted. Go. Yep. So, All right. Yeah. Go ahead, Chad. I'm gonna. Yeah, I've, I've got okay. to put on a two-three double calendar. So go yeah, ahead. Give me, a quick, give me a quick second here. Putting in an OCO. Yeah. I was. Uh, yeah. I had a nice day going on both my accounts uh, until that push down. And once again. I didn't really even need to put the, the trade. I took a full loss on that lunchtime. Number one, I really didn't even need to take it because I didn't take it. I didn't put it on because my other trades were, were off center. I did it because I only had like one contract left in another trade and, or two, I mean, two contracts, I'm sorry. And um, so I was like, well, it's just, again, trying to, take advantage of you know the the minimal price movement and that's not the that's not the first time that that's come back to bite me and so i probably need to learn my lesson that um you know i could have just waited and then you know that down push would have stopped out my other two trades but i'd already booked 40% profit on both of them so they would have been both two winning trades, and then I would have re-entered at once that pushed all the way down, and then it started to consolidate, and I put on a, a lunchtime number two, which I've gotten out of half of it. And so, again, just not following my own rules. So as for power hour, I've got these two on right now and I've got, I got two trades on lunchtime. Number two, lunchtime, number three, I've I'm out of half on both of them. So I'm not really looking to enter in right now, but if I can 
get out of 40 percent here um you know there's still an hour and five minutes left i might might enter enter a power hour you know and maybe 15 20 minutes here we'll see see what price does just posted my two three dte in calendar channel All right, so S and P's are down thirteen. Nasdaq slightly green. Russell up a half percent. Dow slightly red. Gold and silver red. Notes and bonds red. Ten-year yield up almost one percent. Oil up one and a half. Natty gas only up about a half percent. Was up about five percent earlier. Grains green. Euro and the pound slightly green. Bitcoin up almost seven percent. Bitcoin. Oh wow. Surge, really did not see that earlier. Up to fifty five thousand. Okay. VIX at thirteen point seven six. It's been pretty much contracting all day. I had a little spike in there on that down flush. VXX goes down another 20 cents or so. I'll start peeling off some of that vertical spread. Here's my NDX trade sitting nice. My 1.3 DTE double calendar from earlier is up tiny about a half percent or one percent my three four from earlier is down about two percent my four seven from friday is up about nine or ten percent my five seven from friday is up about one percent and my six seven from friday is up about two percent Vegas, Michelle, you're not entering that NDX trade until you're not doing that at the open. You're doing it later. I'm doing mine right at the open. Okay. Yeah, I thought you were doing it at the open. You can't really get five dollars of credit anymore. Yeah, by the way, normal day, so in premium super low, so I'm not I'm not yeah. doing any other power hour trades besides the Wooga. Yeah, I I probably just just roll with my two that I've got left on, try to get out at forty and sixty percent. And it's been a while since I haven't taken a power hour trade. So I got filled on my NDX morrow at 431 this morning. And I don't I don't really gauge it by premium. I'm looking more at what is my risk versus reward. So like today, my max profit is 862, max loss is 1138. So kind of a three to two is, or 
sometimes a little closer to one to one, sometimes a little closer to three to two is pretty normal. SPX dipped below the expected move of the day and then bounced right back into range. Went down to a low of about 50.70, currently at 50.77. Okay. Get 30% on my re-entry, so just closed half and reduced the stop down to three bucks. I'm getting close to hitting 40% on both my two that I have left on. That was on this one here. There it is. There's one. Lunchtime number two, just hit 40%. My one DTE needs a bounce. I'll have to start watching that a little closer, Vegas, Michelle. Maybe I'll let my bot enter and then I'll continue to check premiums. With as wide as bid-ask spreads can be in NDX, it might make sense waiting a few minutes. There we go. 40% filled in on um, lunchtime number three. So if I don't enter that lunchtime number one that was I was just being greedy, I'm having four winners, no losers right now. So from now on, if I do this again, like somebody needs to like slap me through Discord because this is <laughs> multiple times I've done this in February. Give you one of these. <laughs> I mean, that's it's a difference of about three thousand dollars. You know, I mean, it was a two thousand eight hundred and forty dollar loss when I shouldn't have entered it. The question is. Because I, I do that too. But the question is, how many times have you entered that and yeah. won, then you don't think about it? It's a good question. And and so here's the thing. Prior to February, not very many times. And here's I, here's how I know why. Because it's almost like sometimes when you, when you start to get even a deeper knowledge about something is when you can get off track. Because maybe you know a little bit too much instead of just sticking with your plan. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Definitely.
So my 3-2 needs a little down move. My 1-DTE needs a little up move. My 1-to-1 one -one is dead center, and my Wuga is dead center. And we're getting down to some pretty, pretty slim pickings on the premium. 5080 straddle. Like that or not, it's not bad. If we, if we get a little upside. I better just take my positive day. You didn't see I posted in the Trade Steward channel tomorrow after the bell. I'm going to do a, a live Zoom just to go over how I'm using Trade Steward. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an example, Option Omega backtest, and set up a bot from scratch. So, you, so those of you who are new to it or you know trying to decide if it's something you want to do, I'm going to do a little overview there. And then we will open it up for questions and comments. And then, you know, based based on that, I know a lot of people have been asking for some, you know, more more training around that. And there are some little nuances. And so based on that, uh, I'll most likely do some additional videos or we'll have additional live sessions to go over some of the uh the other features of Trade Steward. Oh yes, opt for dollar. It will definitely be recorded. All right, let's see what's going on in Stockland. Square down 4% after a big earnings coming down. Google down 4%. Beyond Meat down 4%. Airbnb down 2.5%. Wow, Coinbase up 18. Really? I'm not sure if there's some news around crypto or what today, but cryptos are moving riots up 17%. Lemonade, catching a little bit at 12%. Robin Hood, up seven. All right, taking this 5080 straddle. 
Tesla at three and a half. Yeah, so we got uh, tomorrow morning, free market, durable goods, and then after the bell, consumers, uh, consumer confidence. FOMC member Barr speaking a little bit before the market opens. Great. Wednesday, preliminary GDP pre-market, and the G20 meetings start. Then we got FOMC member Bostic. At 11 a.m., FOMC member Williams at 11.45. Thursday, pre-market core PCE price index and unemployment. And then Bostic speaking at 9.50 a.m., 12.15, Mester. And then that evening, 7.15 p.m., Williams. Friday, pre uh just after the market or 30 minutes after the market opens, ISM manufacturing revised consumer sentiment. 915, Waller speaks, and then a bunch of other FOMC speakers. I couldn't help it, Moro. <laughs> I just couldn't help it. Right after you say, slap me if I do that again. <laughs> I just couldn't help it. That straddle looks so juicy. Stopped out of my three remaining three two reentry for a profit. Now, what is this push up? One DTE likes the likes the up move. One DTE currently at twenty four percent profit targets at forty five. So I would need a pretty decent jump to close at profit target. Otherwise, it'll just close near end of day.
The Wuga is up about 10%. My NDX trade, I have a profit target at 95%, so it's at 20 cents. It says it's currently trading at 20 cents, but we'll see if that fills or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Mm SPX back down to 5080. I'll take a 5080 pin. We'll go back to center up about 27%. Well, while things are slow, how about a little housekeeping? If anyone new here, there is a Zero DTE new member checklist on the Zero DTE course channel. Scroll up a little bit. That will give you kind of a, a guide of where to start, how to get going. In the trade plans channel, last week I just posted my March trade plans. You can check that out along with uh, some others trade plans, in ch including Chad's. That is the best way to get started. And then during these live streams, this is, we're here to answer questions. Got a lot of dead time, as you can see. Well, we're just waiting for positions to play out. SPX coming down 5077. Wuga needs another 20% to hit profit target.
My remaining one-to-one -one re -entry is up about 46%. Well, it's 40, about 46% after the portion I closed, so combined. So, But there's remaining portions up more like 60, 60 plus percent. Discount. I saw you posted earlier your uh looks like your reentry bot worked as planned, right? No, oh, he may not be on here. Yeah, that AM ratio I know is kind of a heartbreaker for a lot of people. Mine was, let's see, I think it was, <clears throat> I had a 50% profit target. I think it was close to 45% at one point before the market rolled over. Yeah, that rollover, it's disappointing. There we go. Filled on 60% and out of lunchtime number two. A little bounce up here for my fifty eighty straddle. <clears throat> Was it NVIDIA earnings that caused VIX to spike to 16 last week? So that was on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. And that was on oh. February 13th. No, that's, yeah, that's when we had that big overnight gap down. NVIDIA earnings was on the 21st or 20th after the market closed, I guess. 
Or twenty sixteen. It wouldn't have made it. It wouldn't have made the VIX spike though, would have it? No, the only no what what Nvidia did, and Andrew K. I don't know if you're referencing this is like I put the one DTE Iron Condor on, um, and Nvidia was announcing after the bell, and I got zero decay. Really held it almost all day, zero decay, in anticipation of Nvidia earnings. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. what you're talking about. So premiums on that on that day were being held up for sure. But that wasn't the uh that wasn't the VIX spike. Oh, I, and it yeah, it did spike again up to 16 on the 21st. I see what you're saying. But yeah, that that wasn't based on Nvidia. Cosmo, yep, I'm green right now, pending this 5080 straddle I have on. That's the only thing I got left. I haven't gotten out of 20% uh, of it yet, though. So right now I am, um, let's see. I'm up almost three grand. That's with a that's with that almost three grand loss. So I really need this straddle to uh, pay out for me here, please, and thank you. Nice. I think I'll, I might, if I can get 40% of the straddle, I may just say 40 and at 40 and out and be done. I don't know what this is going to do the last 15 minutes, but I know there's a Monday streak on the line. Me could push up to fifteen eighty, or I mean fifty eighty. The Wuga's at forty one percent, getting close. A little more decay right here. So whereas the S&P came down and pushed through the downside expected move, NASDAQ has been pretty choppy. The election is coming. Yeah, balance. Wuga hit fifty percent. Three hundred and thirty six million to the sell side, early indication. Yeah, Alex, yours hit pretty quick. You must have gotten in a little early or wider strikes or something. Because mine's dead center. It's up about 41%. Wider strikes. Yeah, that makes sense.
man, a little push up. I was so close to getting out of half, 20% of that straddle. Twenty cents away. Nice, Alex. Ah, oh, come on, stay up there. Back down to seventy seven. Yeah, I don't like this price action. Yeah, so discount my... Uh... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I got stopped out of one of my one to ones and one of my three twos. Um, stopped out for a profit on one of my three twos. Stopped out for another profit on another three two, and then I currently have a one to one, which I've reduced size and stop on, and it's up fifty one percent, or the remaining parts up about sixty five percent. So I'll be red on the day, but oh, a little do not back. like this price action. Now my AM ratio got stopped mm -hmm. on this little flushy flush below the expected move. Oh, by the way, we're getting. Yeah, I don't like this price in. action. I saw this coming when it couldn't push up. <clears throat> Need a bounce. Le Wuga needs a bounce. Yeah, I really thought it was going to hold there. Just still in it, but barely. Close out some of these longs that I have. Thank you. 
where it was lifted out in the proposal of the design. So we could see Israeli officials are going to be quite surprised with this. Here we have the reports of the Israelis. Trying to bounce off the expected move area. Yeah, that's what I would expect, Andrew K. Hopefully we get some IV expansion leading up to the election. Especially this one. Seems like there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. Still don't like this price action. Just a little bit higher, and the Wuga should hit fifty. It's at 46. Yeah, mine's still sitting at 20 cents. Now it's showing that it's trading at 40 cents. I've had it dead centered sitting at 20 cents and it never, and it ended up expiring, never even filled. It's just kind of hard to price that one. Oh, Wooga's getting close. Knocking on 50%. Hit it. Get up there. There's the Wooga. 50% profit target hit. Wooga strikes again. Get up there and hit my... My profit target. Don't like this price movement though, just to be honest. Considering getting out of half where I'm at. Just don't like being in these straddles the last 15 minutes. Still 336 million to the sell side. Nice Dick K. No AM ratio for you this morning, or did it or did you, you just survive the little drop?
Gotcha. All right, I just bailed on my straddle. Just don't like the price action, so ended up being a little bit of a loser, but I'd rather just keep my green day than to lose it all in the last 20 minutes or 10 minutes. Still is a let's see like Osmo, you didn't get your fifty percent on Wooga. Yeah, the one DTE could use a little bounce here. Twelve fifty loss on that straddle. So eight into my profits a little bit. You must be trading something different because the OG Wooga doesn't have a stop. Oh, me? No, Cosmo. Oh. Oh. Dick K, you just fired up the uh, fired up the flames on your profile. I like it. I did that this weekend. I started with the flames. I moved to I moved to air. Plus 1665, so would have been much nicer if I wouldn't have entered that lunchtime trade. I will not, I'm going to make, I'm going to put a note on my desk not to do that tomorrow. Still 336 billion to the sell side, final MOC number in five minutes. And I'm sure this is going to be a 580 pin. It's probably, probably where it's going to finish. Oh, yeah, we'll get it going up.
nice Madam Butterfly. Power Hour 1 and Power Hour 2. Looks like the fifty eighty five straddle was where where I should have been. Or not fifty eighty five, but fifty seventy five. Miss job discount double check. So on my last re-entry, my I've got an order at uh, ninety cents. It's just currently trading at a buck eighty. Get on up there to fifteen eighty. What a bit of pin, probably. Get up there. Market on close and balance in one minute. Coming out here in a few seconds. One point two billion buy side. So no MOC trade. Ten minutes to go. Need a little more decay on my uh, 75 puts, 80 calls here. Well, it looks like the winning streak on Mondays is going to come to an end. What was that, 15 weeks in a row is green? Yep. My one DTE is still slightly green. It's going to close here in a few minutes.
Nice, Tom. Need a little bounce. Mukesh, there's my version of the Wooga. Six minutes to go. One to ones in here trading for about 240 buck 85. I need 90 cents, need a little bounce. I almost took the 50 75 straddle on my other account, but I didn't. My one DTE looks like it's going to scratch out a profit. Going to be closing here in a minute. One DTE closed at 11.05. So got in at 12.30 out at 11.05, so at a 10% profit. X down to 73. Well, oh, it's coming down. I'm going to go ahead and get out of my re-entry here. Great, I'm going to have no bid. I already have no bid.
filled at three dollar. All right, so that was a nice winner. Yeah, my decision to bail it kind of ended up being a good choice. I just, you know, I've watched price action for so long, it just looked like it wanted to come lower. You're going to crack new lows of day in the next two minutes. So 72 lows of day were about 70. <clears throat> Yeah, this if I would have held it, it probably would have wiped my green day. Let's see where this baby ends up. Although I probably would have gotten out of half on that push up. Nice, Alex. Good job, Alex. It's gonna get down to lows a day, I bet. Down to lows of day. Yep. That's what I thought would happen. Ten seconds. Ding, ding, ding. 69 close. All right, all. Uh, let's see here. Live stream tomorrow is the 27th. So Chad will be streaming live at the open for the Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we'll be back for Power Hour tomorrow afternoon. All right, all take Austin. care. Have a good night. Austin Manana. Peace.